Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Paisley, and today I'm interviewing Miss Jayla Dixon. Welcome. Hi guys. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm very excited to be here today. Good, good. I know the fans are excited to know all about you. So tell me about yourself. What do you do? Um, I am an entertainer. I dance, I do porn, I do everything. <laughs> oh, okay, so what, what lane did you start off with first? Well, I started escorting and then I started to get more into, you know, doing like other things like modeling and, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I did a, my first video, music video, of course, and then after that I've been getting booked for more things, so. <laughs> <laughs> How's that going for you? It's, it's going good. I'm happy with where I'm going and where I'm at. Okay. So what made you get started into it? Work is not for me. <laughs> I know. I, I am not good that. with a boss. Like, I'm, it's not with a boss because I can have a boss. It's just like I'm just not good in a work environment. Like being on time, clocking in. That's just not for me. That's just not for me. Yeah. <laughs> just not for me. That's so understandable. So you were just like, <laughs> at this just more about. in my lane. Okay, okay. So escorting. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It, it can't be. <laughs> so is there any like bad times with it? Okay, when I first started, um, I guess I got started with a pimp, and that that was it was a dark time in my life. You know, mm -hmm. he. He wasn't a good pimp, so he had he had us all strung out and stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm five years clean. I'm on a good straight path mm -hmm. now, you know. So I don't have a pimp. <laughs> well, okay, well I wouldn't say good because I I've, I've had had people that have really yeah good really good. I'm not saying that that that's mm -hmm. not a good. You have to find the right person for you and mm -hmm. just make it. Happen. You find it better yeah. working solo. Yeah, okay. for me it's it's been better working solo. Yeah. What do you say the difference was? Or I didn't have, I could see my, like I could see my money, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I could see the the profit, like I could see my, like I, where, whereas like he wasn't getting me where I needed to be as far as like getting a place and you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you know, like getting farther in my career as far as like modeling and stuff, because that's something mm -hmm. that I've always wanted to do. But like he wasn't doing those type of things. He was just kind of like, you're gonna escort, you know? So when you get into that kind of situation, do you find yourself getting stuck? Or is it easy to get out? Is it, is it's it... just the type of person that you're dealing with. Because mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't have a hard time getting out. But okay. if you're in a, a gorilla pimp situation, then you will have a hard time getting out because they're not gonna let you leave. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm well, luckily I wasn't in that type of situation, I was able to get out and make my own means and stuff. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> good, good. And have you ventured off into like any of the online stuff, like OnlyFans? Yeah, I have like OnlyFans and a mini vids, and I'm starting to get into more camming and stuff like that. So okay, well, wait, we gotta tell the fans your link so they can go follow you. How can they find you on OnlyFans? Okay, OnlyFans.com slash Dayla Dixon. Instagram, Twitter. Instagram.com slash Jayla Dixon. Twitter.com slash Dixon Jayla. Um, Snapchat, Jayla's underscore Playhouse. That's pretty much it. Go follow her. It's lit. It's lit over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, through all of this, what has been your best time? I guess while you, we'll talk about escorting, then we'll go on to the other stuff. I think. Some of my best times are, I, I think, right now because I, I, I'm, I'm finding myself. I, I, I'm not finding myself. I know myself mm -hmm. now. I, I, I was, I was on in a part of my life where I was just confused and I didn't know what, where I wanted to go. And I, I know what I want now. You know what I'm saying? So this is a really great time in my life. Yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, as far as entertaining, do you dance as well? Oh yeah, I, I definitely dance. How's that going? Girl, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's it going since the COVID? Did, it's did been, it's been, anything? yeah, that was weird. So like, um, a lot of the clubs had shut down and a lot of people weren't having private parties or having out of town girls coming mm -hmm. to their private parties so, so that they can cater to the girls in their town so mm -hmm. and like in my city there's no big girl dancer market mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so traveling well, was, that's a, 
how does that affect you? Um, it's just more expensive. <laughs> just okay. having to to go other places to dance. I mean, like I can dance in my city, but it's just I just don't feel like there's no there's no there's no big girls, girl. I'd be the only one. Like, so I have to put it. I put it on the. I have to put it on the map. But that's just something that I have to be confident enough to to do next to them bony girls. You know what I'm saying? Has that been a struggle? Yeah, that, that's that's different. That hits different dancing dancing with skinny girls. I oh. like it's more comfortable dancing with people more of your stature. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Do you find it that they be hating or? Girl, they yes, they be hating. Oh, like okay. Well, one of the big girls is winning these days. They is okay. One of the girl, one of the um events down here actually. Um, I was off stage and there was a couple big girls on stage doing their thing and they do like, like, uh, more, like they do like fire shows and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They're not just up there clapping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shaking butt, you know what I'm saying? Um, so like the girls are on the sideline talking about how they're doing extra and stuff, but they're, they're getting their end. So yeah. what is there to talk about? You know what I'm saying? So they definitely be hating on us, but. It is what it is. We're coming to take your cheeks. <laughs> I hate that it's like that in the industry. We there's all there's enough money for all of us. It really it should is. Be. We don't hate on y'all, so why you hate on us? <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel like one, it's enough money, and then I just feel like it should be more mixing because guys like like if I was a man, I come to a club. Like I want to see a variety. Oh, yeah. I don't want to go to a club and just see one race. I don't want to just see one size. Like right. I see. Big titty, small titty, all of that, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man. there's definitely more of a mixture down here, but back home there's not, there's no mixture. <laughs> there's skinny girls. Yeah. There's, there's skinny to thick, but there's not skinny to BBW. Not at home. See, that's unfortunate. Maybe you should. You ever thought about starting your own? Yeah, it's but I need a building. <laughs> There's the the I've asked a couple of the venues and they just not going for it. So. I definitely need to have my own venue to do that, but it's definitely something that I've, I've wanted to do because we, we, we are a fetish and I, I, I mean, I have customers there, you know what I'm saying? And good customers. So mm-hmm. I, I see it could work, but there's nobody that has taken that chance. So maybe I could. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could be the first. Yeah. So where are you, where are you going now or what's, where are you at like right now? What's your plan? Um, I want to start a business within the next two years, a successful business. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to take my time and, you know what I'm saying, save and file for my EIC, mm-hmm. EIC and you know what I'm saying, and do it the correct way and not just be like, hey, I'm selling clothes, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, you want to get into the clothing business? Yes, yeah, yeah, okay. I want to um, sell plus size clothes because where I'm from, there's 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 plus size stores, yeah, but there, I mean, you can't, there's not like, it's like they don't understand that we're trying to be sexy too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why that is. But I, I we like two piece sets. <laughs> I feel like. Do you blame society? What do you blame for being that way? Or what do you think there is to blame? Is it these men? Is it society? Is it other girls? Is it just because? Skinny girl. It's always been like a skinny girl's world. Yeah, it's always been like a skinny girl's world. It's kind of society's fault. Like, they they make us try to conform to certain beauty standards, and I'm I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna be happy in my skin. I'm gonna love me you every day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Whether I'm 500 pounds or whether I'm 160. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna love me for me. You know what I'm saying? So. It's nice. <laughs> okay. On something more fun, what kind of content do you have on your OnlyFans? Girl, all types of content. I do a lot more solo content now that they're um they're like my own my many vids is requiring more like IDs and stuff. Okay. And I do more content with like like more of my content is like fan meetups and stuff. Okay. So um uh, they're not really comfortable giving me their ID and I understand that. I'm okay, okay with that. So I'm, I'm backing away from um, more like fan meets uh, type of content mm-hmm. and I'm doing like more like solo play and shower stuff and girl girl stuff oh, when I can find <laughs> yeah when I can find other models to work with so there's some good stuff on there. <laughs> How is that because I know for me it's been a struggle finding like other models that want to work. Do you find it to be easy or? 
because it's girls not can be catty. Yeah, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy finding girls that are willing to, you know what I'm saying, let you put their video I mean put them up on your your your, your stuff, but mm -hmm. I mean, I have a couple of solid friends where we can meet up and we can do like some twerk videos and stuff like yeah. that and we can get some good stuff done, but it's hard. <laughs> it's definitely hard. <laughs> Might have to start paying for me some models. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have to, I heard that just to get them going to come do it, but then again, you pay, you sell the content and you, you make it right. You make back. more, make that money back plus some. Yeah. Hmm. So is there anything else you'd like the, my fan base to know? Um, I'm from Indiana. I'm 23. Um, I have no kids, <laughs> and I love to travel. That's pretty much. You want to have kids? No, no. no keep, those. <laughs> keep those. Keep <laughs> those. <Yeah, laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I would rather my brothers. I'm already an auntie, so I love that. But I don't want none of my own. It's a, it's a crazy world. So I rather, or yeah. if I have some, I'd rather be like started with my business and done with yeah. this part of my life because this is I don't want to have anything happen to me and definitely miss me you know what I'm saying see that's the most important part I think a lot of people don't think Take about them, that they don't think about that because you really you want to just bring kids in this world like you want to be able to provide this these days they are I want to do more than provide I want them to have more than what I had as a child so see I wish more women thought like that yeah. That's a good thing. Well, I guess we're going to wrap this up here, but thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>